Hello and welcome to this episode of Ask Raghav. Today we are going to learn all about ROI that is return on investment and do not worry if this is the first time you are learning or uh, you are listening this term we will go very basic step by step. We will see what is ROI and we will also see some templates how do you do ROI we will see why do you need to calculate ROI or return on investment we will see what are the areas you should consider how you should do ROI calculation what is the best way and finally we will see some tips for ROI calculation this is going to be very easy and very interesting so be with me throughout this video and ROI or return on investment in very very simple terms is the cost benefit analysis so think of whenever you are making any investment on anything when you whenever you are buying something or making any investment on anything you do some analysis that i'm investing this much on this particular thing what is the return i'm going to get from it in short term and long term and when we talk about returns it is not just the financial net returns it is also the time the uh, the time saved effort saved the increase in quality efficiency everything so when we talk about roi we talk about all these things okay now uh, here when we talk about roi we have a formula that is profit minus costs and then divided by the cost and we multiply this entire uh, number or digit that we will get with 100 and we will get a percent so we can see that our our roi is 50 percent 100 percent 120 percent whatever it is okay so this is how we calculate the ROI now don't worry a lot about the formula and all these things uh, we will see the very very basics what is ROI and how do you do ROI for automation testing projects okay so here we have seen this ROI is cost benefit analysis and we, we have also discussed that uh, when we talk about ROI, it is not just the financial returns, but also the time, effort, quality, efficiency, everything. And when we talk about automation testing or automation projects, when we do this analysis or this process of, for automation, we just don't get the ROI percentage. We also kind of do a feasibility analysis for our automation because when we are doing this exercise, we will see what are the projects what are the tools required what are the platforms required what is the manpower required what are all the skills we will have to learn what are the man hours required so in a way we are kind of doing a feasibility for automation that how feasible is automation for our project or our application or for us and we are also kind of uh, adding to the automation test plan because we are kind of doing all this analysis that how much we will automate what all manual testing we will have to automate what all tests we will take up what will be the effort required the tools platforms everything so kind of we are doing a, a planning for automation and also doing a feasibility analysis this is an added advantage of doing this exercise of roi analysis now i will show you the template and i will also show you what areas you should consider and before that uh, we will look into what you should include or what are the things you should focus on when you are creating a template or when you are doing this return on investment analysis so we have some categories like costs then the some other factors and then the benefits so these are the areas you should include in your roi metrics or data when we talk about cost it can be the tooling cost the platform cost the staffing cost how many people will be required how much time effort man hours will be required what will be the maintenance costs that you have set up the entire automation the project the framework the platform now you also have to include the maintenance costs and then time and effort so this will all come in the costs we will also add the risks what can be the risks so all this will come in the costs then when we talk about other factors it can be the complexity of the software or the platforms we are using number of test cases to be automated the frequency of releases it can vary from project to project and from organization to organization some uh, organizations may be doing releases every week some may be doing every month some may be in two weeks and so on a uh, level of automation maturity in the organization here we see the skills the people who are ready for automation the platforms tools everything so this is this all will be considered doing during roi then we when we talk about benefits when we come to this section we see how much 
uh, time is reduced by doing automation what is the gain we have got in terms of time then the coverage of testing the reduce risks and then the speed and efficiency as well uh, then we also see the increase in quality and what will be the increase in production after doing automation how much quality is increased how much production is increased when we talk about production in automation projects we can see the number of tests we are able to uh, test number of scenarios we are able to test in the same time or in the in what time we are able to test the same amount of tests as we were doing the manual testing so all this will be uh, considered in productivity and then the efficient use of human resources so this is also a very important factor that we say that uh, the all the repetitive work all the repetitive testing should be delegated to automation and humans should be used for more cognitive uh, things and projects and work so all this will be included now when you do automation feasibility analysis or when you do roi for automation you can see based on your project based on your needs what things you have to include what things you should not focus on what areas you should focus more on so all this you can see when i will show you the template you will have more clarity on how you should do roi now uh, if you want you can take a screenshot of this screen keep it handy with you so that you know what all areas you can consider for roi calculation okay before i go to the template let us very quickly see why we should do roi because you should have a very uh, you should have clarity on why exactly you are doing roi so we do roi to ensure we know what it will take for automation testing and this is a very very high level statement it includes everything that how much uh, time effort money resources man hours everything what all it will take for automation testing and when we do this process of roi we are in a way taking into consideration all this so we, uh, we are also figuring out discovering what all it will take so it is also kind of a feasibility analysis for us then we understand the investment in terms of tools time effort cost and man hours this is a very very important point for roi that is we say that we have done roi as we understand what it will take for automation including the time effort tools platforms man hours everything then we also do roi to justify our investment because when we will do this exercise we will be creating all the data we will be um, you know managing all this matrix statistics we will get all the data so whenever we are asked how do you justify your investment we can show all the data and we can say this is how we have done the roi and this is how we can justify it then it also helps us to take better decisions because we have the data we have the metrics based on that we will take better decisions then we also will come to know what are the goals and outcome of the process we know the resource allocation during this process we will understand we will allocate the resources we will know how we are allocating the resources the budget planning the risk assessment this is also very important then the project prioritization and uh, is all this what we are doing is aligned to the business and then the stakeholder communication so in all roi calculation helps the teams the organizations to take better decisions data based evidence based decisions and then it helps to allocate the resources effectively uh, get the right tools and platforms and do all the things in a planned and efficient manner again if you want you can take a screenshot of the screen and now coming to the templates so here uh, there are many things that you can find online you can search for templates for roi calculation you can see several resources there i have seen these two resources one is from medium so uh, i will keep all these notes in the description of this video you can get all the links from there so here this is one tool for roi calculation this is from nagaro and if you go here you can set how many test cases you will be automating so you can set your count from here then project duration in years or in months you can set from here then we have the platform supported ios android browsers etc you can so see this is at a very high level and this is uh, not very specific but i will show you a very specific template as well but just to get a very high level picture desired execution cycles per week okay 
then this is automation requirement then setup effort framework tool setup and configuration in person days how many days it will take then framework tool training time again in person days then framework tool design customization time again in person days then you can click on next then we come to the business complexity high complexity this is in percentage how much complex is complexity you do you see in this process and product and project and medium complexity again in percentage you can set it from here then next this is coverage and hourly costs this is again in percentage and then cost you can select the currency and then you can set the cost from here and then calculate your ROI so you can see all this details here you can also get detailed report and then this one is from medium and this is an article automation testing ROI estimation tool by Dimitri and here you can read this here there is a detailed explanation and then there is this Google Doc so if you go here you can see we have this smoke level automation and here we have number of test cases and if you see this uh, colors this yellow orange color this is uh, this amount depends on the projects processes and needs green colored is the output value calculated based on the figures and then here this one is the average values based on the actuals of your project so here are the number of tests then test runs per month how many times you will run per month automation environment setup time it will take in hours then what is the time taken by one manual test case execution and one test case automation test execution time then auto tests run and support how much time it will it will take for you and then you can see the calculation here ROI period net profit in 12 months also if you go down here you can see this is the ROI and saved manual testing time automation cost everything and it is for a longer period for 12 months so this is also very important uh, when we do ROI we don't just consider one time investment and one time return we consider it for a long period of time and we create these uh, you know monthly ROI or maybe quarterly based on your needs and project so we say for first month what will be the ROI what will be the investment what will be the return in the first few days or few months the investment will be higher the returns will be lower as we are preparing everything from scratch and as we go forward you will see the investments will come down and the returns will keep on increasing so this is how you will see this ROI okay you can see there are a lot of things here you can check all this and you can include what all you need in your project and you can ex exclude what all you do not need okay so you can take a look into this and some tips for ROI calculation uh, as I told you that you should consider this for a long period not for one time and therefore when you do this ROI you should create a matrix for uh, a longer period and you should have what will be the investment and returns first month second month third month and so on or maybe quarterly as you need so this is how you should do it and as i told you initially the investments will be higher returns will be lower but as you go forward the investments should come down and returns should increase so this is all about roi if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section and i will reply to you i will see you in the next episode of ask raghav thank you for watching and Never stop learning.